Hello everyone, this is Everlasting and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching Bungo Stray Dog Season 3 Episode 1. Now, uh, I've already watched the Dead Apple movie, but unfortunately, if you guys want to watch it as well, um, you guys have to avail to my Patreon. But you don't have to. You don't have to. I, you just have to know that I've actually watched it. It's because I didn't have... Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to cut it in... How should I say this? In a shorter length because it's an hour and 30 minute long so i don't know if i'll be able to actually cut it in a more how should i say this, consumable size in youtube without actually cutting it so terribly that you won't be able to make sense of it so i just decided to not upload it here but yeah i'm i'm really looking forward to seeing what's gonna happen here uh we met a very interesting villain in that apple shibusawa and we also had um, well fyodor there so i'm really looking forward to seeing more Fyodor, it feels like even though Shibusawa has seemingly been done, Fyodor is definitely still um, alive and seems like he's going to become our main antagonist in this season. So I'm really looking forward to it. Let's just start the reaction now. Mark? Oh! We're starting right with this. This is Angle. Yep, Dragon's Head Conflict. One year earlier. Hmm. <gasps> what? <laughs> hey! That's. That's Chuya, right? Gravitation. Oh! This is such an OP ability. Ah! Wow. What? 15 years old. How? Huh? We're going to this direction, huh? So this is before Choya joined Port Mafia, right? This is Mori? With kitchen knives. Oh! So they're having poor business? Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Your first job. Oh, this is your first job. And you just witness the boss dying. Huh? Oh! There's any value in the act of living. Hmm, I tell myself that every single time I feel so down. Okay. Suribashi City. What? Ah, that sounds painful. Is this where he found Akutagawa? Hmm. A state of conflict. Three. Okay. Takasekai. Jesus. 
The sheep. Oh, that's with Chuya. Oh, he didn't live up to his expectation. <gasps> oh, yep. Oh, yep. He's a martial artist as well. Oh, really? Oh, nullification. Nullification. Yep. What? Oh, he's that fast. Wow, I didn't even realize it. Oh, I don't feel like dealing with you now. Oh, my. God. Oh. Oh. Wow. <gasps> oh, that's... Yeah. That's right, it's been introduced that the undead or the dead can actually return with Shibusawa and now with the boss. Oh! Mm. What are you gonna say? Participate in a joint investigation. In the same incident. Oh. Oh, that's Huh? Who's that? Is that your friend? Oh. Like you always do. This is blackmail. Okay, so they're all children? Oh, the greatest violence. Rational action by various methods. <laughs> oh, you're willing. The rumor. Three times. Was yesterday. Yep. He looks powerful. So. The person in front of you. <laughs> no way. <laughs> brat. They think of each other as a brat. <laughs> Chibi. <laughs> Fifteen. Oh, because of the people. You're done as well, so you have to come cooperate now. Hmm. So that's Chuya. You're in charge of that. <gasps> oh, 
ちょっと呼吸で忙しいから場所も近い。先代の姿を見たことおそらく僕らが追ってる事件と。うん。ああ。気が嫌いなポートマフィアの一団だ。生き残ったのは犬。アビリティユーザー。ホーイズイト。<笑>うん、うん。でプロバビリティ。どう? Okay, so we're in a timeline we're in. <laughs> Chewie is not exactly part of the Port Mafia yet, so what made him join? Right? Uh he's not exactly getting along with um how should I say this? Dazai and it seems like he's not getting along with Moria for now. But at the uh season two and in the dead apple movie he seems to respect him right so what changed right what actually changed what made him change his mind and what made him join even though he has this his own association right and what happened towards his own association after he left or was it because his association was kind of mm, massacred or something that's why he decided to join the port mafia ah but if I remembered correctly, um, Chuya is 15, right? And if I remembered correctly, Daz is also of the same age as him, as we see from the introduction of the movie Dead Apple, right? And at first, I mean, we do have Lovecraft, right? In season 2, but it didn't, ex I mean, and we also have the abilities, but I never expected in the Dead Apple that she was always kind of a zombie, a ghost, right? And now we also have ghosts here, so... It seems like the show is already starting to introduce us that there are other supernatural themes in this one, not just abilities, not the not just uh mysterious creatures like like Lovecraft. We also have ghosts around, and so I'm really excited as to what's gonna happen with this. Uh, who will they who will they find, right? And Akutagawa is still not here, I think, or maybe Akutagawa is already here. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know, but from what I remember, the one who trained Akutagawa was Dazai, so it only makes sense that since Dazai just joined uh, Port Mafia, then that means that it must be some time after this that Akutagawa would be mentioned, right? It only makes sense, right? That like that. But yeah, um, I'm really curious as to what's gonna happen next. Uh, Chuya and Dazai would be, uh, kind of just, well, they're gonna team up. Even though they don't want, <laughs> I don't know, they don't really get along. Even in the recent seasons, right? Or rather, even in the recent times, uh, even though they have the, how should they say this, the top understanding when it comes to, uh, teaming up, right? They're very good at coordinating with one another, but they're, uh, they're still not exactly getting along well. So it's not surprising to me, I think, that they're still, in in their younger days they're still quite um quite how do you say this they're quite against each other and it's amusing to see uh these two people who ends up becoming so powerful 
in the recent times, they are acting like this at 15 years old and it's just nice to see. I never expected it to become a flashback, right? But I guess this is going to be a recurring theme with Bungo Stray Dogs, like uh, we're gonna spend the first few episodes of a season uh, start, maybe four episodes, five episodes, for a flashback and then we're gonna go back to recent times. I mean, I cannot imagine a season without Asushi and the rest because he's the main character, but who knows, maybe that's going to be a thing now. I thought uh, season two would be about the uh, Dazai with the with his past from Port Mafia, but then we return back to the present, so I'm expecting the same thing here. Maybe we're just gonna be introduced some glimpses of what's happening, what happened in the past, and then they're gonna connect it back to the present, right? It only makes sense. And the Fyodor, I don't know. I feel like Aki, Akihabara? No, no, not. It's something like that. Uh, it seems Dark Flames. They say Dark Flames. And I don't know. That instantly reminded me. It seems like someone's ability, right? And it, it instantly reminded me of Fyodor. I don't know of Fyodor. But I don't know if he's involved or not. I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna be rewatching this. I'm just astounded by the fact that we actually went back to the past that I wasn't able to focus much. <laughs> Hopefully you guys understand. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna to watch this first before actually watching episode 2 because I really needed to. But I really enjoyed this one. And of course, if I end it because uh, the Death Apple movie is um, kind of exclusive for now. But in that show, I was wondering if Elise is a real person or not. But then after rewatching that movie, just to make it clear for the people uh, who did not, who would not be availing to the Patreon to watch it, but just to make it clear, um, the 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 movie implied that Elise is the ability of Mogi. But after seeing, and but I was still quite uh, hesitant in believing that. So I asked a good friend of mine who actually. Um, recommended Bungo Stray Dogs to me, and he told me that Elise is indeed uh the ability, or rather the manifestation of uh Mogi's ability. I th Mogi's Mor Mori's ability. I don't think it's a spoiler though, because I kind of had that thought already in that apple. I just wanted to confirm it just so that I wouldn't be as confused once I start season three. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. Um. How should I say this? This episode. I hope you guys did as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.